Hello everyone. Equilateral prism dissection. This is our prism. Equilateral prism. A prism that harbors a platonic regular depth. And let me compare this to a cube. A prism that harbors a platonic regular depth in its core is of same volume as a cube harboring an identical regular depth in its core. This conclusion is purely based on a petrol volume calculation, which is area base times height divided by 3. So the tetrahedron is one third of the whole, which is self evident in both cases. This is a regular tetrahedron in a cube, they are same in volume. So let's say the hole is 1 or the hole is 3, whichever one prefer, it does not change the truth either way, with or without any comparison, conversion or synergetic constant or any other complications applied. The division of a prism. Let's divide the regular depth into 3. So regular depth is divided into into three. Anybody can see that. This is the one third of that regular tetrahedron, this module. Then let's divide the sides of the this prism. So this prism is made of, of three half octahedrons. These are half octahedrons they look like that. They are consist of two modules. I glue them together. So that each prism contains nine volume identical tetrahedrons. Two, four, six, nine. And they are all volume identical. And they must be equivalent to synergetics A and B modules, and here is the proof. So three tetrahedrons, so three modules per single one eight tetrahedron, so three times eight is twenty-four. Now this is a synergetic tetrahedron, and it contains eight of these tetrahedron volumes in here. So synergetic tetrahedron is 24 times 0.111 equals 2.6666667. So the tetrahedron, this one, is one third of the prism. So 2.6666667 times 3 equals 8. So this tetra must be two frequency because the former has only three blocks and the later has 24. Three times eight is 24. So a prism contains 24 times three equals 72 modules. Same as the synergetics cube. So we clearly see the error in labeling. Synergetics is always consistent by being inconsistent. It always does less with more. That's the cardinal rule besides being unnecessarily complicated and inconsistent and totally inaccurate and unusable. So we clearly see the synergetic tetrahedron is two frequency tetrahedron and the cube containing it is also two frequency. We see that assigning any particular number to edge length is an idiocy on its own because we're dealing with ratios that are eternal, meaning they are always true. They are axioms. Like for example this statement, cube equals three regular that volumes. A rhombic dodeca equals 48 such that volumes. A rhombic triconta equals 60 such that volumes. Cube octahedrons equals 20 such that volumes. But this fact is only loosely consistent in synergetics. It does not matter what are the edge lengths. 
The ratios, the cube, tetrahedral relations are eternal. So all in all, synergetics geometry of thinking is totally independent of modeling. Martian math is just a number shuffle without coherency, relations, or usability. Thank you for all. See you next time.